I've got him. <laughs> Just in time for that last minute mousy cosplay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Encounter Roleplay. And also to this fantastic game I like to call Mouse Guard. Hi. Look, we're going to leap into this because we need to wake everybody up. Get up out of your seats and praise the Mouse Guard, the most amazing team of fuzzy critters you will ever encounter. Hello. I am for your game master. I am I am here to help you. Because without me, we cannot go on mousy adventures. Who are my who are my mice today? Please introduce yourselves. Should I should I begin? Mr. Travis Bowles! Would you like to go first since you dubbed the cloak of the mouse guard when we started? I did, I have my brown towel here to be my It's my a cloak mouse of the guard. mouse guard. It's my, sorry, sorry, cloak of the mouse guard. I'm getting into it. It's three in the morning. You gotta let me, baby steps. I gotta ease into being a mouse. Anyway, cloak of yes. the mouse guard. It's my cloak of the mouse guard. I'm very happy to be here. My, my mouse's name is, is Henry. And uh, it's basically, I've been listening to uh, Jimmy Dean's uh, Big Bad John for about a week now. And just absorbing it, letting it really permeate character that I want to create here tonight. He's basically a very large mouse. This is a particularly large mouse. This mouse that could pass for a rat if you were, you know, if it was moving quickly. Uh, but this is a particularly large gray mouse with a brown cloak. His name is Henry and he's got a hammer and it was his daddy's hammer and he's going to swing this hammer. He's going to die swinging this hammer. And he saved some people from a mine and uh, cave in in, in uh, Copperwood and uh, I think he was recognized by the guard. And they plucked him from obscurity and trained him up as a fighter. And I'm a bodyguard for the guard, as a guard mouse. I guard things for the guard with my hammer. That's true. That's what's up. Mm. That's how you got that cloak. You don't get that cloak otherwise. That's right. Earn this so cloak with my hammer. Would you <laughs> tell us your belief and your instinct? My belief is that the guard saved my life and gave me purpose. Saved me, pulled me from that hellhole mine, and uh, put gave me a track. I, I, I'm forever loyal to them. And uh, my instinct is that when in doubt, smash it with your hammer, hmm. sir. That's productive. Yes, and when in Copperwood, stop at Bucky's and get yourself a bag of beaver nuggets. That's my cousin's store well, there in Copperwood. there's no advertisement from Delicious. Copperwood because they haven't paid paid me for that. Copperwood well, doesn't doesn't do enough trade to do that. I'll say what's up, Bogonova. Copperwood. Bogonova. Hello. Hello, my name's Boganova, or you're welcome to, uh, to call me Liam if you so wish. I am playing Falka, a, um, another grey fur, the sexiest of the furs. Um, and he's... Very, uh, very different to Henry. Uh, Falker is a, um, he's an old fur. He's gotten by just by sort of coasting through life, avoiding uh, too much responsibility. And uh, he's getting near retirement. He's ready to go prop up a bar and uh, and drink himself to uh, to oblivion. I think it's kind of where he's getting. Just wants to get through it. Just get through the day, and then he's done. Getting too old for this shit. That's where he's at. Interesting. Mm. Once more into mm. the fire. <laughs> Tell me, what is this old old fur's belief and instinct, if he has any left? <laughs> his uh, his belief is there are many old mice and there are many bold mice, but there are few old bold mice. So, just try not to be too brave. Get home safe. Crack open a cold one. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> And uh, what uh, does this instinct help with that? It does very much. Uh, <laughs> for he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Because, you know, the, the mouse guard, they can't just be throwing their lives away. They've they got to come back tomorrow. And they ain't going to do that if they're being heroes, you know? <laughs> Love it. We move on to our third mouse. Mr. Chris, would you tell us about your mouse? Would you tell us about your mouse with without being muted? 
<laughs> begin begin the sign language portion of the stream. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Ooh, uh -oh. still can't hear Ooh. you, sorry. Maybe put that headset back on. Yeah, maybe we should go back to headset, because not all of us can sign ASL. Gosh darn. Unless you can do it through interpretive dance. It looks like he's backed up against the window. I don't know if he could, if it will have much room. <laughs> gonna happen. Dance fans away. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Do you want to uh, go in the meantime, Pangalactic? Sure. Well, I'm sound. Pangalactic. You may call me Chris or any other combination of words that I'll respond to. Uh, I will be playing Faulkner. He's a young mouse who thinks he's an old mouse. Um, he... He's too tired for this shit. <laughs> 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 he suffers no fools. He has a big chip on his shoulder, but he's determined to be a good mouse and a good guard. Lovely. Would and you say that's... Would you say that's like, your belief is to his, be... So his belief is quite similar to Falker's, actually. He uh, His belief is that unnecessary risks are foolish and the mouse guard can't survive if foolhardy mice get themselves killed. Interesting. And how does your instinct help or deter you from these actions? His instinct, his instinct may be something of a hindrance. His instinct is, uh, once a decision has been made, he acts without hesitation. Mm. Make a decision and do it. Don't I like get squashed. There are many things that can squash you in these woods. Not including, uh... Chris! <laughs> Would you like to... Try once more. Try try to give it a shot. Let's see if we can hear you. Should we do the clap test? Everybody <laughs> clap if you believe in mice. <laughs> no. Mice are... Live entertainment, people. Live babies. It's live. While we figure that out, I could do something, which is tell you what this game is. Well, you already know it's about mice. Uh, wake up. Uh, it's about mice. And these mice <laughs> are not just mice. These mice are particularly clever, cunning, and brave mice. Because in the world of Mouse Guard, mice are smart, but they're still mice. They're still easy to snap up if you are a wily predator, a fox, a eagle. Well, not an eagle. More like an os. A, 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 there are tons of birds in this. I'm not going to read all of them. But there's snakes too, and possums, and Tom Nook, and and I love him, and dangers all around. But thankfully, the towns that dwell within the mouse territories are protected by the Mouse Guard, a bold and very productive group of mice uh, filled with rangers, scouts, and warriors alike, as well as scientists looking to better the territories and keep all of its mice safe. And I would like to introduce everybody to what the Guard is all about. I would like you guys to take the Guard's Oath with me. So, Chris, are you are you available? Are you here with us? Smack your gob. <laughs> is what? That gob is not smacked. Oh, you no. now have the mute. You now have the mute trait. <laughs> <laughs> you now must role play as a mute mouse, which is great. Keep trying. Uh, we will say you did your oath post mortem, maybe. <laughs> I believe in. Yeah. But I believe in nice. Andy, I invite everyone in chat to take the guard's oath with me. Now, this oath is taken when you all join the mouse guard. Is anybody here of Tenderpaw? Okay. That means no, you all have clubs. That's good. Tenderpaws are recruits. They have not earned their cloaks yet. So we shall dive into the guard's oath. Repeat after me. 
because you did this when you took on this noble order. We as guard offer all. We as guard, we as offer, guard all. offer all. Offer all. That we are to protect the sanctity of our species. That we are we to are protect, protect the sanctity of our species. species. <laughs> the freedom of our kin. The freedom, freedom of our, freedom our, freedom our kin. And the honor of our ancestors. And the honor the of honor our ancestors. 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 With, <laughs> with knowledge, sword, and shield. With knowledge, knowledge sword, sword, and shield. shield. We do these deeds. We do these deeds. Do these deeds. <laughs> Never putting a lone mouse above the needs of all. Never put in a lone mouse, mouse above of the needs of all. all. Or the desire of self above another. Or, or the, the desire, desire of self above, self above, above another. another. <laughs> we strive no less than to serve the greatest good. We, we strive, strive no less than to do the greatest, the greatest good. good. I'm so proud of all of you. Oh man, that was awesome. My, cloak. My green cloak. Yeah, you look yeah, great by the way. Good. And we are legit now. That's right. You're mouse guard now. There's no going back, and there's so, all going forward. Sure. So, oh god, cat, please. And Just you playing with the headphones. We're in the guard too. Chris, how's your audio doing? His video seems to have uh, frozen as well, mm. and a most beautiful face. Oh look, yeah, battery's holding really still. Chris, <laughs> Link, if you can hear me. <laughs> This is the longest staring Link's contest fine. I've seen yet. <laughs> He's gonna win, Chris. Are they in the Are they in the building? Are they in the building? Are they in the? Did they, did they break? Hmm. <laughs> did they break through the door, Chris? Uh, he doesn't know what's going on, but we could hear. He he is frozen now. Okay, I think he will arrive, but he's just very tired. He's he's very tired. Everybody, Gwendolyn will forgive him. Speaking of Gwendolyn, all of you arrive in Lockhaven. It has been quite a long season, and you spend a few days returning to the home of the Mouse Guard. This place, this citadel of Lockhaven, is built into this uh, outcropping of stone and gravel, and some beautiful ivy coasts down the surface, obscuring uh, the the citadel of Lockhaven from any, you know, predators that might want to do it harm. But it also has a buzzing beehive uh, above it in which much golden honey is scooped. And all of you take some time to basically get back into the swing of uh, what life is like in Lockhaven. What do you do when you are not on a mission? And this routine of yours is broken up as little uh, tender paws begin to run around trying to find some mice of particular name and suit. And each of you are approached by these mice and told in, you know, rushed voices, because tender paws have tons of jobs to do at Log Haven. And you're simply told, go to the matriarch's office. Gwendolyn requires you. <gasps> well, I drop what I am doing and proceed forthwith. Excellent. Um, do you all know each other by chance? Do you have you have you uh, patrolled together, or are you completely new? In the in in the latter, what uh, do you say to each other as you wait for Gwendolyn to welcome you into her office? Hello, brother Mass. Uh, Hi, remember both of you. <laughs> Greetings, friends. So it looks like the uh, the old lady's got another job for us. It seem. She always does. Your names both start with an F. They do. If I remember correctly. And I get them mixed up. 
one's folklore and one's final pack. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's good to see you again. I think I remember walking from one place to another with at least one of you. I think. Uh, I vaguely remember gray. the hammer. Of course we gray. Sure. It's impossible to miss such a fine hammer. Oh, it is. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Appreciate you. Thank you. This is, uh, you know, the hammer. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> the only oh, hammer. Uh, yeah. So, for me anyway, it's, I'm, I'm partial to it. So, yes, I'm looking forward to seeing what the, uh, what lovely Gwendolyn, who, as you know, I respect and admire very much, has for us. And at that, and at that, the door opens, and uh, a, a young attendant welcomes you in and says in a very high voice, Hello. You are Hen- Henry Booker Faulkner Sigur, right? Last time I checked. Okay. Gwendolyn's ready for you. Black. I love that. Love that little guy. Isn't he yeah. cute? He's <laughs> he, little, he doesn't little have his cloak yet, but he sort of has like this little like uh, little uh, scarf draped around him, and he makes sure that it flows back behind him whenever he walks oh, around. Man. He's yeah, really good. He's, 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 he's prepared. Yeah. yeah. You might you expect some governor's nephew probably. Uh, yeah. Trying to get high on the guard early, and uh, you are led into Gwendolyn's office. <laughs> and he leaves afterwards. Um, Gwendolyn's office is busy, to say the least. There is a large wooden table in the room, and situated on it is a large map of the territories. Uh, Lockhaven is in the smack dab center, but uh, the mouse territories go. Uh, Basically, they're locked within a border. This border is known as the scent border, and it's basically the best concoction that the mice of Spruxduck have been able to conduct regularly. It basically keeps all the nastier predators, like wolves and bears, from getting inside the territories by leaving this very toasty scent mixed into the soil. The lot of you notice that there are lots of little pieces, uh, little wooden tokens in the shape of mice in various parts of this map. The season is summer. Now, the summer season is quite particularly difficult for some mice, but thankfully, the paths between the towns have been blazed. And hopefully you won't die of heat stroke from wherever she sends you. Gwendolyn sits at her desk. She stands up, just briefly, to greet all of you. She's a blonde furred mouse with a sort of aqua colored garment. And you can see that she does carry the title of a matriarch in her regal uh, stiff posture. And the clutter around her desk is prominent, but you also notice in this room a long halberd hanging in the corner, ready to be taken at any time should the need arise. For she too was a guard mouse before she became matriarch. Ah, oh, yeah. I love a yeah, halberd. Yes, she was. She greets all of you and says, Well, good morning. It's good to see all of you. Uh, have a seat, if you will. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Oh, sat on my tail. Careful. <laughs> I got crooked last time we had you in here. I did. Don't want you seeing the healer again to fix that, all right? It's better now. It's better now. It's fine. Well, I'm taking it easy on you for... You're going to be delivering mail. Oh, good. I love oh, a good male that's mail. Great. Yeah, indeed. That's why right. the guards so never hard underestimate so long. the importance of mail. We must deliver it on time. Yeah. Of course, speed and accuracy is very important. You have to ensure and safely. 
Oh, safely, of course. It has been some time since spring started, <coughs> so many predators might be more prepared for you than you are for them. So I ask you to take caution. But I doubt you will find yourself in too much trouble. Just be sure that you uphold the oath and you perform your mission dutifully. You will be heading north to White Pine. It's been an area that has been trying to receive lots of mail recently since it's been, what to say, hmm, she sighs. It's just been a dire time for territories as of late. I've heard some terrible yeah. news from there. Mm, what kind of terrible news? Mm. The worst kind. They've had some tragic losses among their kind. Their own god is rather lax, I should say, and dwindling. It's an old-fashioned town made of carpenters, artisans, that are warriors. Mm. Knowing the area they're in, they're easy to fall prey to all sorts of devilish creatures. So I ask if you can do some good if you are in the region. Yes, ma'am. It would be my privilege. Mm. But before you do any of that, you have to make sure that mail gets delivered. So please see Postmaster Clyde, if you will, before you leave. Make sure you take all due precautions. Any questions? North to White Pine. No, ma'am, we're going to get that taken care of for you. We're going to get that mail delivered there uh, safely. Right, guys? Correct. And uh, we're going to check out this whole White Pine situation because it troubles me, ma'am. Troubles me. It's supposed to be running better than that. And if there needs to be some belt tightening up there, uh, we will see to that. Post haste. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you, Henry. Dismissed. I'm sure it gives each of you a little nod and salute. Suppose we go fly then. Yeah, so the guard is basically the the male people in the territories. They're kind of like the only mice who are capable of going from town to town without losing their way or getting eaten. It's very important. important. One, to not get lost. Two, to not get eaten. Not all mice can do this. Postmaster Clyde is a black fur, but you can see that it's starting to dull its shiny, sleek color in his old age. And Postmaster Clyde has several bags of various uh, parcels and letters that are to be delivered. And he sees the lot of you and says, Oh, good to see all of you. Good morning. And he lets out this really big yawn. It's, it's, oh. This, this guy has, this guy is near in retirement. The mice wear watches. <laughs> oh boy. Where, where are you going uh, to? You hear from mail, I think, yes? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, got white, white pine. White pine. Mail for, uh, you know, white we're going to take it. White pine, sir. P uh, I N E. <laughs> Lovely. You know, White Pine's my hometown. Uh, so I expect you to be a good patrol of mice. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He gets, I respect uh, that. He gets this mail bag and he lifts it uh, onto the little handoff area and he says, Could I trouble you for a favor? But of course. Thank you. White Pine is where my my sister lives. Melody. If you could, I'd like to. I've spent many a winter here in Lock Haven instead of there. 
it'd be good to send a few gifts that way, especially to my, my, my nephew and niece, if you would. Yes. And he brings out uh, this uh, little package. Uh, it does open it, just to show you, uh, that there are basically two really finely crafted um, uh, dolls, essentially. These uh, little mice, each of them uh, with different colors. One is sort of like a splotchy brown, and the other is a, a dark black with a, a little white stripe down its nose. And uh, you you see that they have these cute little guard cloaks on their on their little necks, and they got like long whiskers, and they even have their own action weapons. Oh um, yeah, and all sorts oh. of things. But uh, they're these little adorable dolls. And he says, "Here you go." These are Melody's children. I like to spoil you, of course. But of course, I shall see to it first. I also like to inspire them that their uncle is still doing good guard work for the territories. Yes. And he, yes. he does get this little sad, longing look in his eyes as he looks at these two things that you you know he's made these from hand. From Pa. Mm. Sweet. Uh, okay, uh, give her... Um... Okay, Eva, like relying on his own survivability, will uh, make a, a effort to hold on to those himself, because uh, he's not quite sure how uh, whether or not Henry will make it to the, this town alive. But he's quite quite full of bravado, <laughs> so you know, he's like, "I'll take this. Don't worry." And Faulkner will take the mail. <laughs> similar thought. I was about to ask who's going to do the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> And then he bids you farewell. Yeah, but now, good afternoon, sir. I enjoyed speaking with you, and I respect my elders. Thank you. It was pleasant good day. to hear. Yes. He says, that old, man, that old man is freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know about y'all. Give me the willies. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, he's okay. aged a lot uh, over the last decades. He wasn't much older than myself when I arrived. That happens to the best of us. Well, he casts a sideways look at Henry. Well, but most of us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, White Pine. Let's see to it. The weather is good. We should go. Speaking of which, are you guys ready to roll some dice? Oh yeah, the weather is a big deal. We got to check the weather. Uh -huh. Does anybody have Weather Watcher? I do. Uh, no. I do. Because uh, we're in Lock Haven, we can ask around. Certainly there's a resource for such a thing. No. I'm going to go ahead and say... I'm going to go ahead and say, so here's how this game is played. We've started the mission. So all of you need to write down uh, oh, basically yeah. a goal. You need to write down something that you want your character to achieve Ugh. by the end of the session. Because what we're about to do, we're about to enter the Game Master's turn. This is my turn. Basically, I am going to throw the mission at you, and I'm going to run it as uh, basically to challenge your beliefs and to challenge you to see whether you can actually accomplish this mission that you've been giving both by Gwendolyn and by Clyde. So let's go ahead and, as we sort of go through this, uh, write down goals of things you want to achieve. This could be like deliver the mail to everybody and not die as I until I get back to Lockhaven from this journey or something like that. All goals start oh, with don't die. Just write it down and not die. <laughs> I, 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 I literally just not die is probably like a given goal. Let's go a little bit more like story so, than, than not die. Faulkner, Faulkner doesn't care so much about the dolls. Faulkner's all about the guard and the mail will help the guard. The dolls will help fly. So as long as the mail gets delivered, Faulkner Clever. will help me. All right. I, I was the other way around. I wrote uh, not die and then deliver gifts. That's what... Um, that's all I care about. I think that's good. And Henry? Mm. And 
I want to make Gwendolyn uh, proud of me, I think, by delivering the mail and investigating the trouble in uh, White Pine. And I really don't give a damn about an action figure if a snake is going to eat me and it's me or you and the, or the action figure. That's just me. Not that I don't like action figures. I want y'all to have toys and things that amuse you. It's fun to enjoy those the things when you can. More fun to be alive. Be nice. <laughs> this is great. I love I love all these goals, um, especially because they might conflict at some point. So <laughs> the purpose is that you need to accomplish this goal of yours before the end of the player's turn, and during the player's turn, each of you gets to do one check, one declared roll to do whatever you want. Um, I will tell you when the player's turn begins. It will probably begin eventually, but for now, it's GM's turn. It's mission time. Ooh. Sounds like you guys want to make sure you have a nice, beautiful summer day. Ideally. I think, I think <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to start off with a versus test. Versus test is essentially you're rolling against the season of summer. Oh, mm-hmm. good. So one of you, <laughs> one of you needs to gather your weather watcher dice, and you mm-hmm. need to roll against me and see who gets the most successes. So I, I have weather watcher. Do any of you guys? No, I'm not a watcher. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this works. I rolled four. Oh Jesus Christ! I can't um, actually beat it. <laughs> nice. So here's nice. how. Success and fail. Oh, it is. It's hot. It's hot. I guess it's toasty. Mmm. Oh, but it's so. a dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you roll a dice, you want four, five, and six. You don't want one, two, or three. One, two, and three. They're they're failures. They're snakes. That's you got three swords. And uh, five, six, five. Four, five, and six are um, good. I got four successes. You guys need to either tie me or you need to beat me. Oh, God. So, otherwise, I'm going to make the journey a little bit more to your distaste. Okay. So, who has, who has the highest weather watcher? I have no weather watcher. You have three? I have three. Right. Oh, no. So, Henry, do you have Weather Watcher? <laughs> it's skill. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was I was trying to remember which which uh, name was which. Uh, I do not have Weather Watcher. I okay. Don't know anything about the weather. I complain so, about Volker, the weather. That's what I do. You're, you, I'm going to give you a plus one, but you have to tell okay. me: do, Is there anybody because you're in Lock Haven? Is there anybody you mm-hmm. know in Lock Haven that could help you do this? Do you have a friend or somebody, like an old mentor? Um, I do, actually. <laughs> He's even, his, his name is Garo. He's a mentor, and his location, hometown, is Lock Haven. So no. he's the guy who taught me how to weather watch. Look at that. It's like random. <laughs> so, <laughs> before, before, so here's what I imagine. You guys start to leave, and then you turn around and look up to one of the towers of Lockhaven, and you see this uh, this this uh, gray mouse, almost white, because he's so just waving. And like he's got this little flag in his hands, trying to tell you this is the flag for bad weather oncoming. You need to do something about that. Or maybe he's waving good weather. So this is sort of like the helping dice that you're being given as he okay. as he sees you off. So that's he my sort of plus one. Off. Yep, he's, that's going to be your plus one D. So you have four dice. However, do you want to use one of your traits to help you? What are your traits? Uh, I've got rational and old fur. Traits so can be, yeah. Traits can be used to uh, grant you another plus one in any test. However, mm. they can only be used once per session. So, do you want to use uh. that to get five dice against Summer? Per session. 
Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna use um I have to try and justify how I'm using it though, right? Um Mm, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Um, because mm, I want to save old fur for later, because that one's really flexible. Um, it's, it's I think really rational. Good. Yeah, rational. I'd say rational works. So rational you works. are. He's trying of, to be logical about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're trying to interpret like, yeah. mm, what's the humidity? What's the what's the, what's the glare of the sun? Yeah. And stuff like that. There you go. What's the barometric <laughs> pressure? There you go. All right, so five d six, yeah. Five d six. You need to beat four. Oh no! <laughs> you, got, <sighs> you got three successes. Oh. Three, not four. Two of them three. are sixes. Can I introduce another thing in go this in this game? Fate mm -hmm. points. Each of you is going to have two. Uh, uh, fate, and you have one percent a point. Fate points can be used to explode your sixes. So if you want, okay. you could spend yes. one of your fate points to literally just re-roll those two sixes you rolled. On like so that, that this adds on top of it. Okay. Yep, it adds on well, top of it. In that case, then definitely. Definitely. Because I'm about to drop a. Okay. Hey. So, you succeed. Success. Spring. I, I'm ruling in this case that spring is not like a conscious. Uh, position to you, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say like it is a versus test, but spring sets the obstacle. I would say, or summer rather, summer. Um, summer sets the obstacle. So if you meet the obstacle, you succeed. Um, in okay. any other versus test, I'm I'm going to go ahead and say like you guys will have to do a tiebreaker roll um, mm. or another fancy little thing, because I honestly want you guys to. You know, feel feel a little bit of success and have a nice march. So, describe oh. the weather for us. Oh, uh, well, on this, it's a it's summer day. Yeah, like um, Folk is giving a good look over, and he's a bit unsure for a while, and it's 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 verging on like the dry side, you know. But um, as he's starting to think, oh, maybe we shouldn't go out, and you know, there's a few wispy clouds in the sky that he sees sort of through the trees and stuff. A light breeze comes through, just enough for him to sort of decide, nah, I think we can risk this. He feels his purple cloak fluttering in the wind. He's like, I think we've got this, boys. We've got this. Yes, yes. It shall be a fine day. I prefer the dry heat. It helps my old bones. Let us go. This is good. All right. Guess what happens now? We have to walk to, you know where, White Pine. This Mark is going to be a bit of a linked test. Linked tests are used to sort of like, basically, you have to get to White Pine, but that's a really big journey. Um, it's going to take a few days, so I'm going to need multiple tests. I need a Pathfinder test, obstacle three. Does anybody want to do that? I've got Pathfinder three. Me too. If that's useful. And uh, Bogonova, what, do you, what does Fulker have? Oh. I've got two, two. for path, but I do also so, have. Um, uh, sorry, I thought I had trail written down somewhere as something. Oh, trail. Yeah, something? I've got uh, trail wise. Trail wise. Um, Ooh, and okay. Helps this is, it does. It will. I'll explain how. Does Faulkner mm -hmm. want to do the pathfinding? Sure. Okay. So, so. how does this work? Three you, have a, you have a three, it's 3d6, but you have other mice with you. You have other <coughs> mouse guard with you. You have your patrol. Yeah. They yeah. can help yeah. you. They yeah. can help you. <laughs> Woo. Right. Um, so, um, Henry, what skill do you think would help with Pathfinder? Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> mouse finder. Yes. Um, but you can also use other skills like scout and, uh, you know, stuff like that to sort of help. Uh, cartography is another good one to sort of help get to white pines. So basically, it's who Cindy and I have, and like, I see trail rat there and various other things. But I speak trail. Who has a wise related to trails? You do. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you oh, remember I guess when I'm, I said I'm whispering little, little bits of advice in his ear to help him, right? 
Yes. Um, because you are wise in trails. That is your specialty. You know where to find these things, even if summer mm-hmm. has burned them from the earth. So, mm-hmm. or rained it, because, you know, summer, it can rain really bad. It can, they can get washed away. So you can find, like, remnants of them and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and say, because you need to know this about your wises, you're protected from any consequences from this wise. Uh, from from this uh, test, if it fails. Because you are so wise, you cannot be affected <laughs> by it. This is something that your wises are good for. Nice. So you have five dice. Five. Five dice. I will take for five. Two from your patrol mice, and you can use a trait if you want, but that's depending on if you think this is really important. Because yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say, if you succeed, you get to white pine. If you fail... Oh. I can give you guys a condition, or I can make a twist happen. I can oh. make the story go in a weird, fun, dangerous direction. How many successes am I looking for? Three. That's Three the out of five. Ooh. Okay, let's see if I've got any traits that might help. Here we go. Big money, big I'm, money. No I'm, snakes. No snakes. Ooh. No snakes. Come no. on, swords. Come we'll on, go swords. With the five. We'll there. see how it goes. It's early days. Okay. Go. okay. Get out there, through. swords. Let's go. Show for me it. swords. One, two, three, swords. Oh no! Oh, that's one oh, success. Oh no! Oh, that is a single success. It'll be a long summer, boys. Uh, be a hot one. It's okay. It's a learning experience. You'll 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 do well for it. I'm so confident. I feel training so well. Your trip gets delayed, and when you arrive in White Pine, it's going to be a little bit different than what you might have encountered. But you will get to White Pine, because I want this to go forth. Now, I need one of you to make a scout check to make sure you don't run into any bad things along the way. Oh no, I have a scout of two. Scout of two? I've got three. Okay. I'll do it. Three? I was going to make this an obstacle three check. Go with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, uh, you both uh, can help with scout or a wise if you want. I'm scouting. Can traits help? Because I've got sharp eyed, and I feel like that might be able to help. Traits can, no. traits can only help yourself. All right, cool. Good to know. You're, you got to be selfish like that about your good qualities. Yep. Yeah. Nope. That's fine. So, uh, does, could I use. Oh, no. no, never mind. Never mind. Ignore that. I'm okay. Well, I'll give it a go on three and hopefully get a All six. Right. Let's see what happens. Because uh, if you guys are helping, that gives me plus two, right? So that's five? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Three uh, that's three passes, and I've got a Ooh. six, but I won't use the play point. I don't need it. So, yep. three six. Just barely. So, you guys are going to be able to. While this is how I imagine it, um, Faulkner is having a lot of trouble getting onto the path and making sure you guys are, are really pounding away at it. Um, Some of the ground's dry. There's no tracks or trails. Yeah, I'm and I to like this. to think I like to think that uh, Folker, your trails wise is really coming in handy, and so you're trying to make sure that you're not walking into any sort of like predator in waiting. And mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say that you are going to be able to keep them from wandering into a bad nest of something. Um, whether mm. that be snakes or various other, you know, naughty things. Um, I will say, however, as you start entering into the uh, part of the territories where these uh, eastern white pines are sort of littering the landscape, you eventually enter into this... Uh, pine field almost this this like sea of pine needles that just sort of washes out in front of you sub, sub smothering the path oh. and as oh. you're scouting you notice now this is going to be you find sort of half buried in 
the ground underneath these pine needles, you notice uh, what looks like a lump. A lump. A lump. A mouse-sized yeah. lump? <laughs> yes. Oh. Folker, you have sort of wandered away from the group in order to find a trail since Faulkner is having a lot of... Oh, my God. Um, this lump, <laughs> you see, you see the mouse underneath, you see sort of its rear end, uh, sort of half buried, its tail limp sticking out, and you notice that it appears to be wearing some sort of armor that has rusted well, over. Because you did, you guys did have a brief reign that that did obscure the path from you guys. You notice right. that there's this lump. You see three more as you travel further towards White Pine. Do I Face notice down. any colorful cloaks? Or is it just the lumps? These the these are not guards mice. You okay. know that much. These are not guards mice. And I'm White slightly Pine ahead of the others, right? right? Yeah, you, you're slightly ahead, so if you want them to find these things, you can show them, or you can quickly cover them up. Because this mm. is rather disturbing. Yeah, I would... Um, I'd clearly, sort of turn... clearly dead. Yeah. I'd sort of turn around and sort of raise up a little paw, like, you know, stop for the others, um, and sort of pull, sort out, and sort of walk up to the closest and try and have a look and get an idea of how long they've been dead, maybe what killed them. You uh, move forward and you uncover one cautiously. Of mm. Cautiously. Uh, this powerful odor fills your nostrils. Your mouse senses are panicking. They're telling you this is this is a dead thing. You should not do this. You should be hiding. You should be climbing. You should be trying to escape. But your better, more mindful and rational nature and your experience as an old fur are pushing you to investigate for the good of these mice that have clearly befallen some tragic fate. The mouse that you uncover looks as though the weight of his armor has probably caused him a bad fall because he, he there's no blood that you can see there's no like ups, the, uh, there's no like spray of gore from from a predator digging into them it seems to have fallen from a great height and if only he wasn't wearing armor he might have survived the fall and you find various, look up. you find weapons <laughs> like axes, big battle axes nearby as well. Yeah, yeah. Immediately look up, I'm like they had to have fallen from somewhere, right? So it's as you look up, the wind blows fast and hard, briefly, sending small flecks of a pine cone or two, I think, um, as well as some of the needles that have sort of begun to drift in this seemingly never-ending sea of brown and green. That was lovely. <clears throat> um, are you mean to tell me, Foker, that they fell? They went... Is that... How, how bad are we talking? I mean, is there anything up above that we can see at all? Like, is there anything above us that they could have fallen from? Apart from pine trees? You, pine you can trees. try to climb up there and see if you can find anything. <laughs> you have to use your nature to climb. Because I'm good this at is a mouse thing that to also do. sounds rather brave. <laughs> um, so foolhardy. They fell you yeah. fall. With yeah, Falco will sort of go back and have a Is bit of a huddle. Is a patrol leader, by the way? Or are you all guards, mice, or patrol guards? I'm oh, guard mouse. Guard mouse. Patrol guard. Okay. Patrol guard? You yeah. also have seniority. Yeah. It's up to you. I mean, Falco doesn't like being the leader, but if he has to do it, he'll do it. Because 
you know, if he can say, we're going to run, guys. <laughs> Put that hammer down. We're running. <laughs> Um, I mean, running, running from what? You got, you got them dying face down in the ground. They <laughs> fell. Do they ride? Mm. They ride birds, right? They get on birds. They get up. You know, they fly. There's, think. there's what four or five of them? There's four. Hmm. Cut a bird well, from up and drop. And this is sort of just a opportunity if you want to use your nature to climb up there. Um, you don't have to. You are on a mission. Yeah. Well, I'll climb up there. If you're not going to climb up there, I will climb up there. Because we're going to have to see what's going on. We're here to investigate the troll. How far away from Whitehaven are we? His accent slipping. White Pine is probably like the rest of the... You're probably like... You just (laughs) entered like this recently. You're almost there. Yeah. You're almost there. Got it. Did gotcha. these guards have insignia on them, like showing where they came from? Like, are they wearing like a white pine crest or anything? I would say there is a crest of white pine, which is sort of like this. Uh, it's it's the white pine kind of prides itself in its uh, artisanal crafts, and uh, they survive winter Hipster. pretty readily. So their like insignia is like a dead uh, pine tree that is covered in snow. I would say, and they they have these like sort of like, they're not cloaks, but they're more like tabards uh, that they wear around their front and back um, over their armor. So you realize these are these are guards from White Pine. Hippies. uh, I'll turn to Falker and say, look, we have a mission. We're nearly there. I say we leave them. We tell someone when we get to White Pine they can come back and check, but this isn't our concern. Yes, I believe you're right. Yes, we shall take a note of uh, their location and pass it on. Maybe a warn of potential danger. You talked me into it, sir. Let's go. All right. right. You guys press on to White Pine and you arrive. White Pine is hidden underneath uh, basically, this this uh, as I describe it, this expanse covered in pine needles that have sort of given it a natural camouflage. And in it, this underground uh, space, uh, they live around this large, tall pine tree. And as you uh, move forward, um, you are greeted at the gate by. Uh, I would say probably like four guards who are fr- are inside the walls, and they sort of move this slot, and they say, "Hey, what's your business?" Guard We're the guard. We are bringing a mail. I'll hold up the mailbag. I see. All right. Put your weapons in this slot. Let you. Standing over weapons. Common. Is this what we normally you do? Would, you would know. You would know that. Uh, by the way, the guard only has authority in Outside the wild. Of the towns. The yeah. towns are this united confederacy. Essentially, their laws are only privy inside the towns. Some of the towns allow mice to carry their weapons inside. White pine appears to differ. Hmm. But. In the past, every time we've been to White Pine, we've handed in our weapons. There's been no problems, right? So this is pretty standard operating actually, procedure. Actually, no. Yeah, you guys, oh. you as an old fur, I would say you have been to White Pine before. You don't recall ever having to leave your weapons. Mm. Ah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is uh, rather unusual. Is, is there a reason for this new requirement? The mouse on the other end, his face is obscured by this helmet. And he says, Last patrol that was here acted rather shamefully. From now on, we expect to keep you guards, mice. It's your incentive to do your duty. It's done our duty. We're here with the mail. If you're unwilling to part with your weapons, put the mail through the slot and we will deliver it ourselves. 
We also have news of, uh, of some of your colleagues who wish to report. We found uh, signs of trouble. Perhaps your superior would like to hear about it. He starts talking um, to various mice on the other side of the wall. And uh, he says, Weapons in the slot. You can come in and talk. He's talking Does this guy seem mail, 50? Sir. <laughs> the mail. <laughs> and we are to come inside with our weapon to defend ourselves. That is the practice we are used to. I'm sorry if you've had a bad experience in the past with the mouse guard. We are constantly improving our customer service as you know. But here's the point. I need to come in to Whitehaven with this hammer and with this <laughs> mail. Now. Is this a situation I have persuaded to? Is this a situation I would, without Now, me? here's the thing. You do have Persuader. It would be great if you were the one talking. It would. Yeah. Yeah. Henry, <laughs> give, me, give me either a Persuader or Manipulator check. Alright. Uh, remember, I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so Persuader of two. I do That's not, good. I do not. I did not take Manipulator. Because there That's was okay, the because for, they're both different ways of dealing with people. Um, so I rolled so, 26. Essentially, unless you want your friends to help, because this is a this is a versus test, he is going to roll on, against guys. you. <laughs> so man. I'm going to roll. He, he has he has a manipulator of three, so he's just going to brute force himself, saying, "No, <laughs> these are the these are the laws, mother mother <laughs> mouser, mother the mouser." He's been coming and coming with mail. Sir. Yes, we have news of his former colleagues. Let us, let us in. Postmaster Clive. Right. From Postmaster Clive. We have gifts for his nephews. And he's Ooh, you dropped Clive. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna give you a plus one, just because you dropped okay. Clive. We are close to your yeah. friends with Postmaster Clive. I sent him a Christmas card to his family. The equivalent. Um, I, think it's, I think it's um, <laughs> the solstice. Well, win I winter, winter, winter Haven. I think. It's mouse moose, that's canon now. I'm gonna find out. Hold on. There are mouse <laughs> holidays on. in this book. Well, I think Yul it's important to know. It's Yule Frost. <laughs> Yule Frost. Even Yul Frost. though it's summer. <laughs> Yule Fest. Thank you. Yes. Yule Frost. I dropped that mail. slow. Yeah, yeah, these are these are <laughs> all right, all right. Two D six, right? Oh, FedEx. Uh plus plus oh. the Clyde mention. Clyde is helping you in retrospect. Um, he is using three to six. He's gonna get one helping dice because he is the law, Ugh. and he has a big door in front of him. The worst. I am rolling right. beautifully Ugh. during this game. Three successes. Uh, I, did I did it wrong. Oh, wait, no. Let's see what you got. <laughs> do you want to? Do right, you want to use a trait? Did I do it? <laughs> you got two successes. Uh you uh you should have rolled uh one two more i think really because we're helping as well yeah, right we're helping yeah because so you, so you need to roll two because oh, they're all sitting like hey come on eh? yeah hey okay okay so three successes so can do this one yep that's great because uh that's how they measure this in mouse guard the, the dice that you get is great um here's what we can do we can either say they tied, we'll do a tiebreaker, and we roll our wills against each other. Will is like oh, our ability. But I, I offer you this. You can use on. one of your traits against yourself. And if you do, you break the tie in White Pine's favor, this, this guard. And you will submit to this no weapons law. But you will get what? two checks for the player's turn to do whatever you want. Two checks for the player's turn, and that's the whole party? Yes. That's the entire party. Otherwise, you guys just get one check each. Let's see. I gotta say, I'm not gonna give the guy the hammer. That ain't happening. I know okay. my rights. I'm not. Then, <laughs> you could. There's one other option. You could spend a fate point and try to get another success. 
So then you would win. That's six. All yep. right, I'm going to spend a fate point. Let's see what That's you got. What Come on. Oh, oh what's up? That's uh, yes. good. That's a big five. I'll take that hammer into the white. <laughs> even. Thank you. How do you see the fairy? His, his fur is bristled, and he's very upset about this, but he damn right slams the, the little slider shut, and he opens the gate. And you guys enter into Thank white time. That's what's up. It's good to know that the right a god and my pipe stands. That's what's up. He said. And uh, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you want, you can deliver the mail. That's gonna take a circle check. What's that mean? I would like to deliver the mail. Circles is basically (laughs) your social networking. It's basically, you know where to find people and who to do what. This is part of your job. This is the mission, essentially. This is the mission role. We should probably know who we mail to who. Um, basically everybody in White Pine, including Melody. Melody. I mean, we could seek out everyone individually, or has White Pine got like a town square? It does. It does have a town square. This would basically just... be this. This circles check would be you finding people in the town square and being like, "I got mail here for for Blaze." Couldn't we just go <laughs> to the town square and start shouting about it and not find people and let what's, them find us? The... We're you gonna hand out the mail. Yeah, but not... this is this is like your ability to do that without pissing people off, right? I said, because because apparently the guard. Apparently the guard had a bad reputation the last time they showed yeah, up. Yeah, they already don't like us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's um? So what's the difficulty of the two? And you have your weapons, by the way. And we have our weapons. So so you have to deliver the mail with these weapons that you, that the townspeople know you're not supposed to have. Oh. Okay. And as as you do this, I'm gonna say they're getting the 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 captain of the the oh. constabulary for you. <laughs> And by the way, this right. is some twin stuff. By the way, trouble with local law enforcement, and it's a uh, it's a bad sign, but it's nothing that uh, we can't handle. And um, uh, we've got to find the post office. We are not the post. It's my understanding, if I'm mistaken, it's not our responsibility to actually hand out the mail. So we need to find the post office. We need to find the equivalent of Clyde. Did we not get a name for the not. postmaster? No. We gotta do that next time, guys. So next time we deliver the mail, we gotta get on that one. Write that down. Yeah. Who are we taking it to? <laughs> That's an important. Yeah. You know. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. So, but you know, live and learn. You know, and we move forward. Yeah. Cool. Know. Who wants to take oh, charge? Sorry. I am looking I've for done. the post office. <laughs> Make a circles check to find the post office. I've got three circles. You guys only got Ooh. two, right? Oh, we got two. Old fur, yeah, he knows what to do. I'm a brewer. That's 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 Falker's a uh, background, and it's a bit oh, of his backstory man. that he ultimately wants to prop up a bar. So he's going to find the nearest bar, order a pint, and be like, "Tell me, good sir, where would oh, one such as I take this mail?" <laughs> yeah, that's I'm his plan. There. That's his plan. Going to the bar, talk a bit of piss, try and get a, try and get a. A uh, fucking bearing on uh, where to take the mail. All right. Are you uh, both going to help? Yeah. I too will talk a bit of piss. <laughs> I'm going to increase the obstacle because you guys do have your weapons. Okay. So it's obstacle four. Oh. Mm. Oh no. You'll be the guard. Not have a good rep- reputation on this town right now. Oh my god, this is bad, guys. We gotta so, work on our PR. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say if you guys fail, I'm probably just gonna give you a condition. Okay. And and conditions are like tired, hungry, and thirsty, angry, like it's something that you you succeed, but you succeed with a condition. So it will affect like maybe some roles and may, it mainly affects conflicts. Um so you don't have to worry about it too much. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go 
you guys give me a hand. We'll go order a drink and and talk to the bartender, and he will put us, you know, the publican, he can point us in the right direction, I think. I think that's a good one. Could I be really cheeky and try and find a way to use my brewer background to help me with that? Or is that just taking the mickey a bit too much? It, you can't help yourself with your skills, sadly. It's just okay, sort of like how you color your experience. That sounds like some mm-hmm. way you could uh, help someone else with a circles check, but uh, not yourself. Okay. So these two help me. That gives me five, right? Well, up. I guess so. How are they helping? Do you guys? Add- yeah. Well, I'll be like, so what is the difference between a pale and a, you know, more of a stout? Well, uh, that's not going to help. Yeah, that's going <laughs> to piss off the boss, I know. Mm. No? Too snobby? Too beer yeah, snobby? It's, snobby. Mm. it's a winery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the winery. Oh, right, winery. <laughs> I like a rosé. Oh, God. Think? <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think Henry, I don't think Henry, like Henry, Henry, stop talking. You know I, don't think Henry <laughs> I enjoy a chilled white. What about you? I like to curl up with a chilled white. Right, guys. Roll your <laughs> dice. I will offer this. You can use a trait against yourself to get a minus one dice and get one check for the player's turn. So you can start yeah, sabotage nah, yourself. <laughs> the only trait I've got yeah. is old food. So. This mechanic, um, by the way, is... Go, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm still processing, like, you can sabotage yourself and get a point for later. So does mm. that mean I could, like, roll Persuader against myself? Oh, no, you just, you just say, um, my character is so brave that they are reckless. That's oh, that's I sort see. of how you set this up. You're you're okay. an old fur, so that a lot of your, you know, sens- sensibilities are not to the times, or you're you're not made. Your your old bones are not made for delivering the mail. Right. It's guaranteed that we're gonna fail getting this uh, getting this mail out there, though, isn't it? Ah, uh, no, nah, we still gonna, we'll do it just with I'm the condition. Just gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna just give you guys a condition if you fail. I mean, I really am ready to just look like I am looking for the post office. <laughs> and this this check for later, we get to use that. Um, is that like a plus one to a future roll? Is it or? Um, no, is it is a, a a roll for the player's turn where you guys get to tell me what happens in the story, and then you roll. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what the player's turn is all about. The GM's turn is all about. <laughs> My turn to say what happens in the story. In the player's turn, you okay. guys spend your checks to cool. tell me. What do you happens. guys, do you guys want to check? Because I've got a, I've got a, an idea how I can use old feather to screw this up. Or, I mean, I'm, go f- I'm, I'm, go I'm here with the mail. I'm, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding the mail. <laughs> okay. The mail. Is so, um, no, I, I, I trust you. Go for it. So yeah, go being ahead and the old feather that he is. Polka walks in and um, he grabs, he orders a drink and he drinks it. And if you've been into a craft brewery with like someone who's a bit older than you, you know they're drinking like. <laughs> ah, what is this? Got his, little, uh, his little notebook is he making notes about like what it tastes like. And what brewery it is. Yeah. So back in my day, drink was actually drinkable. What is this? <laughs> right? And he has a bit of a, a bitch and a moan about it. So that's going to cost By me the way, Here's your periodicals. <laughs> 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 um, now, do am I getting the the two for the others helping minus the one for my sabotage? Is that yeah. how this works? Yes, okay. indeed. Cool. So it's just plus one. Duh, I only got two successes. That's alright. I needed four. So yeah. that's okay. We got a check for go we got a check for later. Let's go ahead and say uh, all of you are hungry and thirsty. And that gives you a minus one in a conflict. Oh, okay. So we'll just make note of that. And you can only get rid of conditions during the player's turn. They have to be used with a check. So I'm going to say you guys go through the town from this bar who turns you away after you give his... his um, and... I'm going to say that the the captain of the guard actually intercepts you at some point and follows you along your route. 
And he's a robust mouse, brown fur, um, wearing that tabard, uh, as well as a few like stripes on his uh, uh, shoulder pads to sort of designate he's sort of of a higher class. And he introduces himself and says, Good day, my name is. Well, what are your names first? I imagine since uh, you're the ones who brought all this, you can call me Captain for now. No, Captain, fine. pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Faulkner of the Mouse Guard. And I'm here with the mayor. Yes. We have the mail. My name is Falker. The surly one over there is Henry. He quite likes his hammer. Ah, uh, whilst we have you here, Captain, for a uh, moment, we are uh, on our way here. We stumbled upon some of your men, uh, mice, that you may have lost along the way. Yes. When we get time, I would ask if you would guide me and a few townspeople to go collect them. With pleasure. They're on our way back anyway. But yes. of course. Yes, that seems to be you got my sir. Good at all right, now. Nice. I don't need a... By the way, you guys happen to know where um, Melody lives by any chance, do you? Where's Melody? Oh, nice. Yes. She lives in the... And he appears more choking up about this than he should. Um, it, it appears something happened. And he says, she lives down the town square in one of the alleys. Uh, my name is Tynan. Captain Tynan. And if you would, I would like an understanding as to whether you could take a message to Gwendolyn, possibly. But of course, the loose. You bet. Good. When you finish up with your business with Melody, we will see you out. Nothing more to do with the guard. And he gives you a letter. Okay. Sealed. No. No. Shall I pop it in the mailbag? <laughs> no, because we're taking it back with us. We're taking it back. back. Yeah, 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 the bag belongs to Lockhaven. Uh, God forbid anybody come for that bag! Uh, <laughs> Lockhaven. He, um, <coughs> he tightens his uh, jaws together. It says, signed by the mayor and myself. We're rather proud of what we do here. And if we have to stand on our own during tragedies, conflicts, then we shall. But you don't need to stand on your own. We're here. You wouldn't let us in with our weapons, but that's exclusionary, by the way. Yes, yes, I but imagine. if you have a policy like that, you're going to be forced to stand on your own, and that doesn't seem like what you want. Well, if we can't trust that every patrol of guards mice is willing to do their duty, then... We have no choice, do we? But you do have a choice. Well, One bad mouse does well, not a bad well, nest make. That is absolutely right. Now, Captain Tynan, I respect you. I respect your office. And I appreciate interacting with you in a positive manner. But this is my question for you. What happened with this experience? You and the guard had a bad experience. Something happened. You're very upset. They let you down in some way. We need to know more about this so we can keep something like this from happening in the future. All right. So, okay. I'll give you I'll give you warning before you deliver that package to Melody. Yes, sir. Not long ago, we were we're used to being able to travel out in the perimeter of White Pine. During that time. Melody and her children 
throughout with us. Now, we had guards mice. We were meeting them for particular duties and missions of their part that they were doing along the coast. During that time, when we had our guard down, because we were dealing with the guards mice, we were trying to meet their conditions. One of the flying devils came down and snatched Melody's son. And the guards mice refused to chase after it because they were on a high priority mission. I lost lots of good men that day. And Melody lost a son. That is Guys, uh, that is a, a terrible story. I'm very sad to hear about that. Um, you were being bribed by guard mice. Did I misunderstand? You definitely misunderstood. <laughs> okay. All right. So they were, they just refused. They they just refused to help out. They refused to save. Them. That's uncharacteristic of a guard's mouse, wouldn't you say, gentlemen? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Not the kind of so behavior. The, uh, this uh, the sun. What what color was the sun's fur? Black. Uh, a line. Ah. Hmm. This is awkward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd you also know that. that uh, you'd also know that flying devils is another word for flying squirrel. Uh, mm. Oh no! Oh, oh, they're the worst. They are well known <laughs> for their appetite for baby mice, since they are especially easy to snatch. Uh, what were? What was? I forget his name, I'm sorry. What was he doing outside the walls? His name was Clive. He was with Melody. They were harvesting. They make their living gathering various confectionaries and arranging them to help decor some of the carpentry work. But okay. they, they have no protection with them. We thought we were enough, and since we were meeting guards mice, we saw no problem in going out with them. Hmm. Do you know the names of these guards mice, sir? Any distinguishing marks or characteristics? There were, there were three of them. One was led, uh, they were led by a patrol leader. Her name was Annabelle. She had two compatriots. One was a tender paw. I do not know his name. The other mice. His name was Gaston. What's it? <laughs> was it what? Was it what? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Just checking I got the spelling right. <laughs> Tell me, is, is this flying devil been somewhat of a problem lately? You see, Gwendolyn mentioned you may require our assistance. She said to make ourselves available to you. I'm assuming this is somehow related. I would guess so. That's what she really meant. We have noticed it, and we have really hunted it down since, fortunately, we're used to dealing with snakes, not battle in the trees. It's mm. a very different beast. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your experience. We will be investigating immediately. Uh, we can certainly guide you to where their remains are, if you would like to recover them. I would. 
Yes. Yes, we shall help you, so it's along the way anyway, and well, at the very least we could. Well, we have you, Captain. We were sent here to <coughs> deliver the mail, and thus far we've been unsuccessful. We do not know anybody in town. There must be anybody who could help us distribute this correspondence. He shuffles uncomfortably and says, I could get one of my men to help. We would appreciate Stop. that. It would it would free us up to help you recover those you have lost. I see. Very well. Especially since you are more likely to be met with hostility due to so it seems. Is there anything else? We have good mice. We just want to do our duty, and we want to help you. Yes, what he said. Willing to help me in what way? What good you are you do to for White Pine? Well, we have the mail. That way, maybe it's some morale. <laughs> we have presents for Melody from Postmaster Clyde that, again, may help her in this terrible time she's going through. Yes. He says if... If you wish, you can deliver those. Yes, I've we have action my... figures. For... We have action figures that are possible. The little girl has some action figures in the box, so that'll be fun. What were you gonna say? If if that is the case, you 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 should deliver them yourself. Well, sure. Who doesn't love an action figure? Am I right? I think that we can all agree. Yes, on especially that. one that reminds you of uh, at least. One? Okay. Stay on yeah. the up one's <laughs> way there. Let us uh, let us keep move move along. Yep. Are you dead bodies? I can find the dead okay. bodies. Alright. Well, I'll be alright. And is there anything else you want to do with Captain Tynum? Which way did the guard mice uh that did this, uh, which way did they go? Where were they headed when they left? They went, north. They went north. They said they have biz oh, a business on the coast. To the coast. Guys, coast. We gotta, we gotta get on this one. Uh, uh, why? We need to deliver the mail. <laughs> oh, right. I, I'm gonna say, mail. because that circle's checked, you guys have already taken care of the mail. If you oh, want, right. so, I will oh. let you... I, yeah, yeah. Oh. I will let you oh. deal with Melody in one of two ways. You can either leave the parcel there on her doorstep, or you can knock on the door and try to give them in person with condolences. Okay. To you. Okay. Volker will hand his weapons off to one of the others and get him to stand over there. And he'll, like, you know, the, the, the guess has. His cloak has a hood, so he'll take his cloak off and hold it like you'd hold a hat, and then knock on the door or like... <sighs> oh, yeah. okay. The door opens, <laughs> and you see a homely woman. Uh, she okay. has light brown fur, like the color of honey. And she has in her ears sort of like this little... Uh, almost a hood of petals. And you notice that she's also wearing this um, vest uh, that is also sort of uh, decked out in some very natural, beautiful looking flora. She opens the door, but you immediately notice, despite this colorful array, there is an aura of despair clouding over this woman. And uh, this mouse looks at you, and a moment passes where she looks from your tail to your neck to where your cloak is. And immediately that, that despair turns to narrowed spite. Oh boy. Awkward. Uh, we should have just left it on the doorstep. Yeah. Ma'am, we have some uh, action figures. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
go. You go. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, melody, I, I assume. That is I. <sighs> you are. I am uh, Guardsman Volker. I, uh, I am here at the behest of your brother. Uh, alas, it appears that we have caught you at a, a time of mourning. Yes, we have. It's a shame he couldn't be here to share in this time of mourning. Instead, he sends what? not even a patrol leader, guardsmen. With, with respect, uh, your brother appears to be unaware of the current circumstances. Indeed, we all were until we arrived. Mm. Word has not reached us. Yes, he always valued the guard more than his family. Well, the reason, why we're, the reason why he sent us is he had gifts. Uh, I'll be, although I uh, fear one may be a bit late. And he still holds out the box, looking genuinely sad at this. She grabs it, more like snatches it, opens it up with this, with, with, with no hesitation. Opens it, looks in, picks them up, and she hangs on the one that has that stripe down its nose and mm. quickly puts it back into the box. But she takes the other one and she grabs the cloak and rips it from the oh, doll's my. shoulders with this sickening. She Damn, takes those are the highly sword. No. She takes the sword that this little mouse has, sort of throws it into the box, throws the cloak in there as well, hands back the box to you, Folker, and says, Accept the other one only when it's wrapped in the pelt of that devil. That seems reasonable. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, our condolences. I will should make sure you're... Nothing to me. As long as my home is haunted by a baby-eating monster. You have no right to wear that cloak. Okay. Of course, well, we are, uh, we shall be going. But, uh, to do what? To do your duty? Yes. Something like that. Yes. 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 We're going yes. with the cat to, to recover those you have God. lost and to slay the baby eating monster. Your spite is misdirected. We are not the ones who have harmed you. We are here to help. I understand that you are hurting. I am hurting. My daughter. And you have a right to. But it was not mice that did this. But it was mice who could have prevented it. Yes. Alas. And we are uh, looking into that. Alas. I have no more Hopefully the next time. Have. You. She looks, she looks to you, Faulkner, and says, do you mean those words? I do. She takes the box back. Come back so I may properly bury my son. We will. Thank you. Absolutely, ma'am. Yes. She closes the door. Folk, uh, you, what worries me is it looks like you've made up your mind. And when you make up your mind, <sighs> have you. Have you Made up your Wait. mind? 
We're going back that way. We're taking the captain with us. Whether we return with the body or not, she gets the body back. That's all that's important to her. Right, right, okay, well, yes, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. we've done what we came here to do. We have to go back anyway. That's right, you did do what you came here to do. Do you know what that means? Does that mean it's, it's our turn? It's the player's turn. Each <laughs> of you has each of you has one check, and you may spend that check to do anything you want. Didn't one of you get an extra check for burning a yep. trait? Boga Nova took a minus one, oh. I think. So you, there is one extra check. So each of you has one and an extra <coughs> that can be used for whatever you guys need to do. You can use these checks to start a conflict. You can use these checks to roll one of your skills um, or various other things like recover from conditions. Yeah, I think is a can we use one check for us all to recover from conditions, or do we all need to spend a check to recover from conditions? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, but it's going to be a higher test. I'm going to say you can spend a resources test to recover from hungry and thirsty. It's going to be obstacle three, I think. Oh, yeah. we got to eat something, guys. You guys got to buy some I, good food. I um, yeah. My kind of history, my artisan was a baker. Will that help? At all? Uh, 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 um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I may let you. I may let you use that as helping dice to bargain. Who here has the highest resources? Not me. I'm three. <laughs> Two, three. I was gonna say I've got cook. So I was gonna get one of you guys to do it, then I'd offer cook. But... Do you want to cook? <laughs> you, can, you can cook a meal I instead, and I'll just make an obstacle too. A cook's only two. No <laughs> but I will readily let Baker be helping dice for a cook test than I will for a resources okay. test. Mm. Okay. okay, so we. I'll wash dishes. Mm. <laughs> Someone's gotta wash the dishes, man. <laughs> okay because i've got cook two and it's a two test i've also got resources three which is a three test so you know um it's much of a muchness but cook would get a help dice plus a help dice for each mouse as well is that correct or am i misremembering yes. this no you okay. get helping dice for each mouse that helps with the skill or plus wise. baker plus, plus baker or okay, yeah baker so that makes... can help I have labor. I'm gonna uh, labor is one of those skills that is so it's just vague enough to help with anything you ever do. I hate labor, but I love it at the same time. I'm gonna allow it as helping dice because you. I'm gonna go ahead and say you do labor things. You're you get you get all this set up. Yeah, you're a hard working boy. (laughs) All right. Okay, so am I rolling? I've got my two plus Baker plus Labra, and do I yes. then get one for each mouse, or is those two those for those mouse? Yeah, it's I'm those two. Each. So it's one helping those dice. Each. Actually, I'm rolling four. Okay, cool. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a punt. Hey, we yeah. matched. Uh, hey. Is that enough? So, that's enough. Everybody, you are no longer hungry and thirsty, and you will not get any penalties if you enter into a conflict. That is one check down. What do you do? We have to spin the others to go find this flying devil, I guess. We have two goals. We have to get the guard back, get the captain back to the bodies, and find the flying devil. I have quite high hunter. That might help with finding the flying. Devil. I would, I would t- say you have to make a hunter check to find this thing in order to enter a conflict with it. So one person has to spend a check to track this flying devil, and another person has to make a check to fight it, and then everybody Dude. will get into that fight. Obviously, I promised Melody we would find the thing and kill it. But we're also never going to see her again. <laughs> I'm happy to do it, but it's. What's the group consensus? Happy to do one. Uh, I, I mean, 
The thing is, we're gonna go home and the squirrel is around, so we may be getting into a conflict with it anyway. Oh, is yeah. it better to do it on our terms? Guys, now I want you to listen to me. Let's huddle up. Huddle up here, guys. That helmet is not a chair. Here we go. Now listen. The That's right. Lean back because we're getting into it now. I'm not messing around. Now look. The reputation of the mouse guard is at stake here. Okay? This entire town hates our guts. Okay? They think we're a bunch of jerks. And it's because of a flying squirrel. Now if you let a flying squirrel come into your house and do this much damage to your family and your reputation, I tell you, something's wrong. I'm going to take this hammer. I'm going to smash this squirrel. And then we're going to go to Whitehaven with its head, and we're going to show everybody that the mouse guard does not mess around, and we're going to be able to get a beer in Whitehaven without having to ask every damn buddy for permission to do it. That's what's up. So I'm listen, told. <laughs> it feels like the right thing, but it also feels like a stupid thing. But I do worry we're going to have some. Boys, it's anyway. a squirrel. Okay. Excuse me. A squirrel's much bigger than a mouse. Let's much not think it. And it flies. <laughs> Can we just point out? But, but this is this is the conflict be between your characters. Yeah. What does your belief say, and does your character believe that now that we've reached this point? Yeah. See, I believe unnecessary risks are foolish, but I don't know if this is an unnecessary risk. But here's, and I here's do the think thing: we're be what anyway. is your instinct? Pangalactic. Once a decision has been made, I act without hesitation. What did you tell Melody? I told Melody we would kill the damn thing. Oh, you did, so, didn't you? Oh, you went. I told her we'd kill it. <laughs> Let's kill the damn thing. Happen. Can I make a hunter check so I look for it? It'll be a versus test. I cool. I don't Can see the harm in helping them find it. I have Hunter 3, so I'll help. Cool. Hunter, Scout <laughs> can help. Scout can help. I me. warn you. Out. This is a flying devil. This is nothing to bulk at. I have three for both of those, so I'll, either either I'll help you with. Cool. I have four in Hunter. Four is good. So you're getting two helping dice, I believe. Cool. So is that six total? Unless, unless, uh, yeah. It, it sounds like Henry is on board. Folker, do you have any objections? And Folker's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an idea of Folker's thinking, right? He's, he's gone into fights and managed to get out and live before because that's why he's got a bow. He hangs back and when it turns to shit, he's fucking gone. So he's thinking, look, we can help them find we can help them find them and then we can figure it out and if, if, it, if it hits the fan, then Volker does what Volker does. <laughs> you know, if it gets that's real bad. Right. Then, so yeah. you're, you're yeah. totally on board with helping. Um, you have six dice. There, unless unless you, now, do you want to use a helping dice? Uh, from me. your traits, I mean. Yeah, one of your traits. Uh, so my traits are open-minded and sharp-eyed. I think sharp-eyed could help. Definitely. Mm. Go ahead and add yeah. one more. You have seven dice. Seven dice. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. Um, For a mouse. Ground hates me, so this could go horribly. 7d6. Big money, no whammies. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And now I will roll for the flying squirrel who has six dice. One success. Oh, you ate it. This is What's up, really squirrel? Good. All right. So here's the thing. You exit White Pine, and the three of you begin to track down these evil. With the gods, right? With the gods. Um, I'm going to say, do you guys go out under the guise of we're going to go find these bodies? Yes. Yeah. Or do you yeah, say but kind of um, stealthily be looking for the thing because yeah, yeah, more yeah. numbers? Yeah. Also, if they see us helping, if they see us helping, it's like ah, we helped. See? That is <laughs> perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. Yes. This is how you play mouse guard. Okay. <laughs> get my cloak on here. He's an old <laughs> one. Okay. Yeah. This creature. This this monster is uh in the trees all of a sudden like uh -oh. faulkner you have been tracking it basically uh, trying to find displaced um part like broken branches on the ground where it might have been moving in the trees uh mm, like you're trying to scan eyes for and you see it <laughs> hiding onto a 
another tree, sort of hurriedly moving along the branches in this almost graceful manner, but you know this grace is maligned by Melody's tears that she has shed because of this thing. This thing will make an excellent rogue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're having a squirrel spend, in our Who wants to spend their check to start this conflict? I got a fighter of six. I'm ready to... I'm ready to... Uh, Holy shit. You have a fighter of six? <laughs> I do. Wow. I'm going to get Unleash my hammer, hammer up here. I'm going to go, buddy, I'm about to clean your teeth. <laughs> Come on over. Okay. Um, are the guards helping you? I hope yeah, so. Right. <laughs> Faulkner, do you say, there it is, let's kill it? I, not so much there it is, let's kill it. I say, like, it's back to arms. And I'm going to say Captain Tynan immediately rallies his, his men, which are only, like, uh, five of them. Uh, they That's all... Three of us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, here's the thing. You guys are going to take charge in this conflict. And what I need you guys to do is roll disposition. This is going to be like the hit points of this battle. Henry, you have a fighter of six. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You're going to get... Now, here's the thing. Is everybody going to be a part of this conflict? Are you going to help defeat this enemy? Oh, yeah. I'm all in. Yeah. Polka. Yeah. We're going to flush it out. Okay. Yeah. So you get From two a- helping dice. <laughs> <out. laughs> yeah, bow is, is useful. That's, that's actually really good. Um, so you're gonna roll eight dice plus one because of Captain Tynan's troops. Uh, that is nine dice. nine dice. Go ahead and roll. Uh, and so after you do that, tell me what your health is. Okay, so how many dice? I'm, I'm rolling 66? Nine. Uh, 66 nine. plus three. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so, uh, all right. Well, then we're going to roll. I can't do nine on here. Let me do five plus four. Is that okay? Yes. Sure. We're all learning together here, folks. Here we go. Oh, that's three. Plus. Oh, I dropped it on the wrong place. I'm holding up the shell. Hold on. This is going to happen. I can feel it. Here we go. (sighs) Okay, so four. Four successes in total. What is your health? Oh, my health is five. Can you burn a right. fate to uh, explode one of those sixes? I would say save your fate for now. Save your fate. Cool. Okay, I'm going to roll left. for the flying squirrel. Uh, Four successes. That's cool. bad. All right, so you guys have nine disposition because you add your successes from this die roll to your health. Ooh. Squirrel gets Ooh. to add its nature. Do you want to know what the flying squirrel's nature is? I just read seven. What the flying squirrel's nature six. is? Six. Oh uh, shit! It will always roll six because it is an animal. It knows nothing more than these three things: gliding, baby mice stealing, and climbing. So, mm. here's how conflicts work. Each of you is going to take an action in the conflict. We're going to work this in volleys. The first volley, each of you is going to take either attack, defend, feint, or maneuver. If you choose attack, you're attacking directly towards the squirrel's disposition. If you defend, you're trying to recover disposition. You're trying to stop the squirrel from taking your disposition. If you're maneuvering, you're trying to not only uh, give disadvantage to the squirrel, you're also trying to give advantage to your um, to your friends for their next action. If you faint, faint is very particular. You only faint when you think your opponent is going to defend. Because cool. when faint is played against defend, you get to basically do straight attack. The defender does not get to defend, they get to take all that damage that you roll. But if a feint is played against an attack, it's the other way around. The attacker gets to do all that damage. Cool. So risky move. So, 
It's very risky, but I've seen it turn a conflict from one way, one end to the other. I have already chosen the squirrel's disposition uh, actions, so each of you is going to take one action, and you have to decide which order you're going to go in. By so, the way, your bow, Fulker, gives you plus two dice for maneuver. Mm. Uh, the head, the what is it? The mace. I'm gonna say that the mace. What weapon do you have, uh, Faulkner? I have a, a halberd, which I can use as either an axe or a spear. Halberd. Oh my god. Yeah, that's really good. An axe or a spear. So axe gives you plus one success to attack. Like, literally, you just do one success all the time. Mm. Um, but if you, do, if you choose axe, you get minus one D to faint and defend. Mm. So, so slow. If you, but you get plus one D if you use it as a spear for the volley. So you have to choose which mode you're using when you start a volley. Are you going to go axe? Cool. Okay. Um, so, so I had a thing that I wanted to do, but I don't know if it's had, like I've never played this before, so I don't know if it's a thing that we can do. So you tell me. What's that? Um, I have my trusty rope. Can we try and tie the damn thing down? I will give you. A plus one to one roll with the rope. Cool. So let's, I'm going to do one last mention. You can use fighter or hunter for faint and attack. But if you're doing defend or maneuver, you have to use nature. Because defending is a mousy thing. You're you're not like trying to stab it, you're trying to catch up to it. You're trying to stop it from gaining ground in the trees and whatnot. So okay. what else what well, else do you guys need from me before you start? I think I think because what I'm doing is only gonna give advantage, Falker will go first. He can open this up with a, a shot from his bow and he'll do a maneuver okay. basically using, using his bow. Because my nature is six. Bow gives me plus two, that's like eight. So I'm pretty confident I'm gonna smash this one, <laughs> and then lovely, hopefully lovely. give you guys, hopefully give you guys some advantage. So I'll open it up, grab his attention, then you guys can pounce. That's that really work? cool. That's really cool. <laughs> um, who goes next? Who's gonna get this advantage? I mean, would it be good to have the advantage in trying to tie it down? Would that help? Yeah, because if you're trying to tie it down, that sounds like an attack. You're trying to yeah. stop it from escaping. Basically, so this, yeah. what is your goal for this conflict? What do all three of you want by the end of it? I want its skin in my bag. We're okay. gonna kill the so, we're gonna The kill squirrel the also now the squirrel <laughs> also has the, a goal. Squirrel's goal is Eat to mice. lead you guys higher and higher and higher into the trees so it can oh, watch no. you fall to your death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Mm. Alrighty. Are you guys ready? Uh, so you're doing it. It's it's a maneuver for Falker, attack for Falkner. Henry, what are you doing as your third action? After these guys do it and then tie him down, I'm going to smash him like a grape. <laughs> it's going to be bad. <laughs> like that Gallagher. sounds like an I'm attack. Walk up yeah. And attack that big old devil. Mm -mm. I feel like this is going to be. Great. So you are doing maneuver, attack, attack. That's right. You set mm -hmm. it up on knock him down. Let's do it. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's go ahead and start with. Uh... Let's do this. Let's hey. do this. Um, he is defending for his first action. So he is expecting you guys to go all out. Let's go ahead. Uh, Fulker, go ahead and roll your uh, nature. Plus two. Plus two. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Three. That's not bad. Two sixes. Two sixes with three. Yeah, three. Two sixes. That's good. Do you want to? Now, here's the thing. Your obstacle was zero. So you got three right. successes. With maneuver, you spend your successes on certain things. Right now, you can spend one success on. Giving the squirrel a minus one on its next action. 
You can spend mm-hmm. two successes to give plus two to the next person in line. So you kind of okay. even out. So go ahead and tell me like how you set up the squirrel for this uh, this this moment with your bow. Okay. Um, what I'll be doing is I, I immediately like basically open the engagement by firing an arrow, not really aim, intending to hit it, but to try and make it sort of like duck down, like almost to press it right. Um, yeah. And then run up, run up, and put another one sort of towards its feet to make it sort of go off guard, right? The idea being that one will take one off its defense, and then the other one to sort of make it rear up and open itself up, so Falconer can so come good. in and grab it. That's the plan. Yeah. That's the plan. All right. So this that's what's going to happen. You, the the two of you with the guards uh, at your side begin climbing up into the trees to surround this uh, monster. And then, Thulker, you let loose your bow once, twice, levering these arrows once to sort of make it what's going on. And its fuzzy tail fluffs up its spine curls as it begins to wide eyes is it a predator what's going on then the branch jostles as your second arrow lances into it causing the squirrel to bounce back rearing up to our next action you bring the rope yeah what are you using hunter or fighter uh, let's have a quick look. Hunter is better than fighter, so... Alright, so Hunter. you're gonna get plus one, thanks to the rope. Do you want to use a oh. trait to help yourself? Uh, I've already used sharp eyed, haven't I? My other trait is open-minded, so... Did I get plus two from your... from the arrow as well? Is that what you said? Yes! So you are gonna seven. get plus two. This is seven total. Um, you're also getting plus uh, one from Henry, because you're in conflict, you always get help. Cool. So eight total. Yep. Let's let's do this. Get it on. Come on now. He's six. Show me swords. Here's swords, the thing. He is, he is also attacking. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Um, I'm <laughs> gonna roll first to see cool. how much damage he's gonna do. All right, they alternate. Okay, oh. he has three damage. Three damage. So, so what you do guys I are not? at. Uh, you guys are at six. Cool. Six disposition. It is still at ten. Uh, go ahead. Do your thing. Eight d six. Let's go. Oh, oh my lord! Oh, oh, man. 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 Whoa! What? With the rope. <laughs> six successes. We're going. And you know what I see? What I see two sixes. Yeah, and I have some fate Do you want to spend your last fate point to roll those? I've only Bring used one pain. fate point so far. Or is it, is it is the fate points individually, or there's a group? No, no, all of uh, them. You, I started so, you guys off with two, so you have so one left, I think. So are you guys happy for me to spend another fate point? Yeah, are you kidding? You, if, yeah. you, if you get more successes, Henry could let's, finish enough with the next volley. Or the next oh, 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 there's two. It. Isn't there two sixes? Oh, you gotta oh, roll two. two. Oh, roll yeah. one more. Cool, cool, cool. Come on no. now. No. That was no. a one. Oh. 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 It started so well. Right. So Robbed. six to four. Six to four in favor of the mouse guard. Man. It is now our next. You do an attack? I'm attacking. All right. Um, so. What, Faulkner, what does Henry see as you get the rope out and you start uh, trying to uh, tie this thing up? Yeah, so I kind of almost like lasso it over this squirrel. I guess it kind of pins it a little awkwardly and I'm going to try and like lash this rope around the tree so it can't go anywhere. And just It's kind yeah. of flailing around. It's trying to get free, but it's, it's pinned to the spot for now. Prime moment for you to just bring the hammer I'm going to go ahead and say like, it, you're so close to it as you're trying to like lasso it and rip it down with uh, your brute force. It um it sort of flails around and you start feeling the branch that you're on. Oh, shit. Starts to wobble and you hear it give way, but it doesn't break. But you realize oh. I'm stuck on this branch. I'm tethered to this thing, trying to hold it down. If this branch yep. breaks, I'm gonna fall. So that's oh. the disposition. 
you took. I got you, um, baby. Henry, I got you. what do you yes. do? I wait. So the squirrel is up and I'm down. No, I can hit you. You're wherever what? you're wherever what? you are in this scene. This is this I'm is a, a very. Oh, I tell you, I'm you up there me. ready to smash that squirrel. I'm gonna All get right. up there and hit it just as hard as I can. So you have a fighter of six. <laughs> yes, I do. You have plus two do opening dice. I uh, saw you hit your. You got the hammer. Unfortunately, the hammer yes. is only like really effective against animal armor. The flying squirrel doesn't have any. <laughs> um, of course not. But you're still going to be doing a big, heavy blow. I have one offer for you. I have something for you that nobody else has been told about. Nature. Cash. And persona. And Nature. persona points. Oh, yeah? And spend a persona point to add your nature to your role. But if okay. it is not a mousy thing, it gets reduced by one afterwards. So what is your nature? My nature is three. Three? You can three. spend a, a persona point to add three dice to this attack roll, with which you will be, d be possibly finishing this thing off. Well, you're damn right. We got to do it. Persona right. point. Well, I'm going to roll 66. I get oh. one, two, three. You guys are down to three oh. at this point. Oh, so I need you to that was his roll. Do you, uh, do you, that was his attack. So you guys got reduced to three. It begins to thrash wildly. Um, and you, I guess you leap hammer in hand. Do you have any uh, traits that you want to use? Yeah, to so, so under traits, yes. So fearless. Bold, hmm. you know, not so much bodyguard unless I'm bodyguarding him, and both of them fundamentally. Uh, I'd, I'd say I don't any know of those can, yeah. can you use one? You can only use one. Unfortunately, yeah, you can only use one per test. I'm going fearless. I'm All scrambling right, up the tree, yeah. hammer in hand. Straight in its mouth, rushing them. That's taste. twelve <laughs> dice. Whoa! You need, you need four successes in order to oh. finish this conflict and defeat the flying devil of oh, white man. pine. Bring it down. Damn right, let's get it on, boys. <laughs> Faulkner, right, rope, Hello. lashed around it. Oh my god. Oh, that's, oh, you see it. It. oh that's seven it successes. That keeps exploding. <laughs> yeah. Roll that six that's again. Oh my gosh. I'm about to pass out. Oh! oh. Just, oh. Five, That's good. That's good with the hammer. Seven, <laughs> nine successes. Henry, tell me, <laughs> how do you defeat the devil of white pine? Gotta do, that, gotta do that bit where you pull it up and you come around with it like that, you know? And you go, and then you come down. Surter does that. Thor three comes all the way around, <laughs> down real hard. Mm. You just got to smash the hell out of him, you know? With these squirrels, you got to get one good strike right on the back of the neck. You're going to take it right out. You're going to make it so you can't even think about it. You're not really, even really going to feel it. And that is the fastest way to pacify a squirrel. You know, you never hear the one with your name on it. And uh, that certainly happened to the devil of white pine this afternoon. God, that feels good. God, I love being in the mouse guard. And I love you guys. I love, I love that. You guys. Here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, you may have defeated the devil, but the devil brought you down to three disposition. That means you're not getting off easy. We have to compromise, and it sounds like the squirrel gets a major compromise. It may not be able to lead you into the highest branch of the tree, but it will most certainly make that branch break. And as oh, you deliver no. this fatal blow, the Whoa. branch, you feel it, Faulkner. It begins to crackle and snap as the rope that you have wrapped around it and lassoed two other branches, uh, Squirrel begins to panic. And then this hit just clobbers it into a almost like licorice-like motion as it just oh. bends backwards 
and the weight of it begins to tip over. You are pulled along with it. Oh, and no. the guards who have circled around it, firing arrows, trying to make sure that the squirrel won't jump to another branch, it breaks. And I didn't think about this part. Two, and the two of you <laughs> fall with it all the way down to the ground, and you oh, no. slam into the earth. Only Can barely I act while we're falling? Yeah, sure. Because I want to grab him. I want to grab him. Can I do it? Can I do a trade and be bold and grab? Uh, oh gosh, not Faulkner. 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 Yeah. Oh man, Faulkner. You're the one. You guys with the names. Let me tell you. Next time we play together, yeah, yeah, yeah. we picked the same name. I had to change it the last minute. <laughs> 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 I'm a bad man. All right. So here, here, here's the great part. You grab. I'd love to buy a vowel. Right when you guys hit. And you guys are going to take uh, conditions. Faulkner oh. and Henry, you guys are going to be injured. Yep. Um, because that was a right. that was a hefty fall. Faulkner, right. you're going to be tired. Oh man! I'm going to just give you guys conditions and say the squirrel is dead. You can take its pelt. You can go forth with your victory. And I don't know what is there anything else you guys want to do with your last two checks? Because you have basically defeated the big beast that has haunted this town ever Shh. since the last patrol showed up. We need to find I... the bodies of, that we were leading the captain to. Alright, so if you want to take those, I'm going to go Oops. ahead and say you'll have to use a labor check to move them. Falker was to help, to help him move them. Because they are I'm big enough. Do you want to go ahead and roll labor? I don't have labor. Neither. Because mm. I'm going to go ahead and say you can use your free check to do this. Because um, we've got to, we've got to, we got to take the dull wrapped in squirrel hide to Melody if we that, want. And we've yep. got to tell Gwendolyn that we straightened out our rep in White Pine. And straightening out our rep in White Pine may be a check in and of itself. And that is what. And this, this like is what I was going to say. Falker's, Falker's thinking, being the wily old mouse that he is, is, you guys are injured. I'm tired. We've killed the, the, the devil of, of White Pine. If we go back into town, beat up, but with this pelt, we're fucking heroes, right? The guard's going <laughs> to look like kings to these people, and that's going to help yeah. us restore, you know, whereas if we just give the pelt and go, there you go, go on back, we're, we're relying on the guard to tell people, oh, yeah, they helped us out. Okay, okay, here's the thing. Yeah. Do you want... Now, now, do you want to add a bit of bravado on top of... Do you, you want to restore the guard's reputation. It is going to yes. take more. It is going to take more than just a pelt. It is going to take... A hit! A, a, a speech. Of bitch. A speech? speech? Do any of you have orator? No. No. I talk to these people. But you guys do have oh. persona points. Boga. Yes. If Folker wants to take the the head and the pelt and basically stand in the town square and make a speech, I will let you make an orator test with beginner's luck. And you can use your persona point to add nature to your role. Your nature is yeah. six. My nature is six. I got this. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's what I want from you. What's your will? My will? Uh, four. Four? You're gonna roll yep. two dice, but you're gonna really? roll eight dice because eight of dice. this speech you're about to make. Wow. Okay. And do I do all those dice together? Yes, you do. Yep. So, uh, the obstacle, sorry. however, is gonna be four. Because this place is salty. Okay. <laughs> so, we go in. I'm, I'm picturing Henry wearing this pelt. <laughs> Can we put that on my helmet? Sure. Yeah, yeah, we're holding on to the helmet. Oh, and, okay. All right, Albert. All right. And like old, uh, old Falker plays up the elderly limp. He's tired. He's got old bones. Oh, we're all looking a bit so. beat up. And he gets in the town square and he's all like, Fellow mice of white pine, the guard has let you down. 
some would even say betrayed you in the past. But let us remember that whilst you are from White Pine and we are guards of Lockhaven, that ultimately, together, we are all mice. We are all of a people, of a kind, and we must work together and to make up for past wrongs, undoings, and betrayals of the guard. We have set out to undo those wrongs and to make up for this on this day. And together, the, the guard and the soldiers, brave soldiers of White Pine, we bring you the skin and the head of the devil of White Pine. And I roll them dice. <sighs> yeah, you do. Slate it. Tell me, tell me that how it goes. Great. Oh, they're crying. I'm crying over here. Not a dry. Four successes. Do I need to beat it or match it? You need to uh, match it. In my in my opinion. Okay. Right, this, is, this is nobody's gonna nobody's making a speech against you. All right. Cool. Then um, there you go. Cool. Many, so many, 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 that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> many a mouse in white pine nods to this declaration and to this victory um, murmurings of understanding and gratefulness it is true while white pine considers itself separate from the guard and before you came here better off without them they do understand one critical point of their existence we are mice, and mice must stand together or die alone. And mm. that oh. is enough to allow White Pine to stay in good graces of the guard. Yeah. And for the guard to remain welcome in White Pine. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and say you guys are given a new letter from the mayor and Captain Tynum praising your efforts and asking Gwendolyn to bestow upon you honors for delivering justice to the wilds of White Pine. And I should also say, you might get a promotion this winter. What? Mm. We're gonna open the books up, guys. However, <laughs> There's one last thing we need to do. We have one more player's check. Ooh. I need to know what you guys want to do as your last action for this uh, game. Yeah, we recover the bodies. Recover the bodies. Go and see, like, it, it's going to be easy enough to recover the bodies. You don't need to roll for that. What do we want to um, do? do we, have, have we patched things up with Melody as part of this, or do we need to do that separately? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Mm. How would you do oh. that? It could I don't be know, it the speech. Role. The speech was for yeah. the town. Melody will like accept. Melody is a more of a personal state. Yeah. She I mean, was she directly wanted, affected by this. She wanted that doll wrapped in the pelt of the squirrel, and there is no reason oh. we can't provide that to her. Yeah, it's true. All right, fine. You can take the pelt of the squirrel. Melody will open the pelt. It's a big squirrel. It's a little doll. Right. No, she wants the whole thing. <laughs> she wants the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. That's a new rock, man. <laughs> Nice ash squirrels out here. Ash figure. I'm gonna wrap the ash figure. Any of you? There you go. God. Do any of you have a uh, weaver? No. Do weaver. any of you have carpenter? We're gonna make her a quilt. I was about to say oh. you could you could make her like uh, something from uh, one of your artisanal skills. I have to get back to work. There's someone else to do it. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. I mean, my height was you only get, two, but I have it. You could get the town of White Pine to get behind making oh, this yeah. for Melody. As a gift. Like, oh, to yeah. the one who lost the, the, one yeah, who so lost you the your, most. So yeah. you can use your hack alert to sort of gather everyone together to pull their resources to, like, make this either monument or this funeral. Oh, you gotta stuff the devil of white pine and put it up where everybody can oh, see it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, so that's what I need from you. We'll stick around. I need you to make a haggler check. 
Yeah. Uh, are you guys going to help with uh, Persuader? I have a yeah. two, so. Okay, yeah, I'm so you'll have a Persuader of, persuader of two. Okay, I think this is option for three because, you know, this is particularly. Ooh. Expensive. I have a Hagler of two. Two. Oh, yeah, then you can help with Hagler. I think that's that's much better. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, if you want to tap your nature, you can. Uh, yeah, so I think what you're my, the only what, one who hasn't done it. Yeah, so what check am I making here? You're making a haggler check with yeah. two dice plus two from your mm-hmm. teammates, your patrol yeah. dice. Then, if you want, you can add your nature by spending yeah. a persona point. I'll do that. My nature so what is five. Your nature? My nature's Jeez. five, so it's a total of nine. And you only need three successes, baby. Let's, let's oh, man. This. Come on. Fantasy Grounds, don't fuck me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Five. Oh, that's beautiful. What do you inspire the town to collectively make for Melody and her family? So I think we take... She ripped the cloak off the action figure, didn't she? She so did. I think we make we make a little new cloak for the action figure out of a scrap of the fur, but then the main squirrel becomes a monument in the town that says, "We will not stand in fear of the flying devils. We are mice." Oh yeah, Lovely. yes, we are mice. So this that becomes like the slogan for White Pine. That sounds so cool. So you've reinvigorated White Pine and. <clears throat> From now on, all who enter will know <laughs> of the battle of the flying devil and the sacrifice that was made to. to, to oh, you, you're you're making fingers. I want to leave my so my rope wrapped around it as a symbol oh. of how the battle went down. Oh, yeah. They yeah. actually recovered some of the branches and they sort of like add it to like the monument. Oh, we're building yeah. a diorama. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and um, also, yeah. so I, we, uh, so I would, I'm going to imagine that Melody does not keep uh, the uh, black uh, doll with the stripe on its face. She buries it with some of the pelt um, wrapped in it with with uh, the remains. And Clyde's niece, Clara, she's going to spend this year. Not mourning so much as realizing that she has to live for her brother, in essence. Yeah. And it's very mature for a girl her age. And she knows one way in which she can honor her brother's memory and see that his dream can come true. Do it, girl. Come yeah. winter. <laughs> Come winter, Clara of White Pine, daughter of Melody, will try to earn her cloak as a tender paw of Lockhaven. Oh, when she dies, the whole cycle starts again. (laughs) (laughs) What? By the way, we never named our patrol, right? We never named our patrol. I think the Wardens of White Pine would be a suitable name going forward. Wait, the what of White yeah. Pine? The, the Wardens of White Pine. Oh, yeah. that is That's good. amazing. Oh, Squirrel Bay. Oh my god. The magic tattoos. Okay. Okay. I that's would do your jail time. That's, that's all I got. <laughs> you guys <laughs> did amazing. What? Okay, that was so, so much fun. Tell, tell, tell me how, how, how this game was for you. This Is is this each of your first time playing Mouse Guard? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Loved you guys it, man. did so great. That it was, was great so fun. fun. That was yeah. so much fun. I feel oh like I've actually yeah, achieved something. No, oh, each of you, oh. you won your goals. You played yeah. on your beliefs. You you fought with your instincts. And you you chased your goals that you made for the session. It mm. was great. I, I love today. It genuinely felt like the comics. Like when you when you yeah. read the comics, yeah. it's like, they, they this whole thing sort of comes together and they become something bigger than themselves, right? And that's what this... Yeah. Like, you managed to pull it off in two hours. That's impressive. <laughs> like, Thank you. <laughs> that was, that was, I quite enjoyed that. That was awesome. 
Really, yeah, Mouse Guard is my main gem. I I I never played D and D before Mouse Guard. Mouse Guard was kind of like my first real step into game mastering. Oh, nice. oh, that's and now really I am cool. mouse mastering with the help of you guys. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm an old school D and D player. Like it's my main system. So this is so different to D and D, and I love it so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cinematic, hey, so cinematic. Yeah. Like you could see it in your head, everything that's going on. You're like, man, this is fucking cool. <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, I love the idea of Yeah, but your mates. Nice. <laughs> it's big. It just it just <laughs> feels like such a grand adventure when yeah. you can imagine it in your backyard almost. Unlike right. the the whole thing of the player turn allowing you to dictate the story just makes you so much more invested. Mm, yeah. It's so great. Yeah. You move a lot faster and, through big boots. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that no, was awesome. I, I, I'm, I'm a wee bit heartbroken that I only get to keep playing Falka for another session after this because that was hey, awesome. I get Falka for the same session, so we're back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. The boys are back, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to that, especially with the the two veteran players that I'm bringing into the fold. Um, mm. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to our next game. Thank you, everybody, for good morning. By the way, I hope you're awake now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Corey, you did a beautiful <laughs> job. Thank you so yeah, much for an awesome amazing. story. And an awesome Travis, story. thank you for playing. Yeah. It really was such a pleasure. I'm glad you got that yeah. final blow. <laughs> Man, um, it, was, yeah. it was great. It was, it was wonderful. It was beautifully done. One of the highlights for me is definitely going to be I'm going to come up there and brush your teeth. That's uh, <laughs> so <laughs> a line. Man, I'm so proud. I've all night on that one. No, it was amazing. I've been <laughs> thinking up this character for what two weeks, three weeks, and it was it was Beautiful. it was wonderful. I had a, had a great time. I've been waiting for this for so long. Like I, I, I forget when it was announced that the, the forty eight hour stream was going to be happening, and the, and then I was like, well, what am I going to do? Play <laughs> well, I want you to keep playing. I want you to keep the playing Mouse Guard. I want you to make this RPG super famous, so we can finally get a decent action figure line out of Mouse Guard, and so that finally someone will make that movie that was supposed to happen that should be stop motion, but they can't afford it. Either way, there should be a movie. We should make Mouse Guard very, very famous. And that's yeah. David Peterson's jam right there. Man, I can do it. Come on, Dave. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know what else, is, what else. What else should we say before we go on to break? Well, I'm hoping that the Dead Squirrel will revitalize the Arts District in Whitehaven. <laughs> you know, coffee shops. Uh, it's going to be a taxidermy oh, town now. Yeah. Is this oh, what you've done to my to my world? The tourists uh, love when you, the devil of White Pine. It's really bringing uh, the tourist dollars to Whitehaven. Yeah. New public holiday. They're going to have like dances around the squirrel statue. Yeah. There's probably not a lot of tourism in the territories in Mouse Guard, seeing as how everything will kill you if you're not in the Mouse Guard, so... Yeah. That? Hey, know, but perhaps that's, that. a, that's a future business option for the Wardens of White Pine. You know, guided, guided tours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's commerce, and that's what the, the guard He's facilitates. He's looking at yeah. a lot. You said something, you said something earlier that the... The dynamic, the way that they set up the dynamic between us and the way that the four really set up sort of crucial moment where it's like, look, we're ready to go. Like, no, we're not. Like, that's, it's the whole thing kind of hung on this one bit that was coming up. And it was great. It was exactly as it should have been. It was wonderful. I had a great time. Mm. I'm very glad I stayed up all night to do it. Because I'm glad I'm actually up early. Oof. Yeah. I'm glad that I could uh, make your morning special in that case. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Uh, sad you, sad that Chris had some issues, but yeah, yo Chris. man, message me. I'll get you. I'll get you your mouse fix. I hope Chris. <laughs> I hope you at least got to watch it and enjoy it. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Oh man, great buzzing. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I don't know what else. And right now, I'm like, like still on adrenaline. Jeez. Yes. Yeah. Will Jones is sleep in a peaceful, dreamless sleep right now. Just. Just relaxing. It's going to wake up people people talking about squirrels and not know what the hell <laughs> people are on about. Oh, <laughs> look, the sun's coming up. <laughs> I just noticed. Mm. Time to do it all over again. You're going to do mm. it all over again. Different mice, or you're playing the same, you're playing the same mice? I've got uh, the same mouse. Same mouse. Olka's coming back. 
I am wondering if maybe Folker's instincts or beliefs should change after this. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, you can change them between the sessions. That is something you can do. Let's see. Somebody asked me what what shade my stupid lipstick is. I'm trying to find <laughs> it. I think it's this one. I think it's a ultra glossy color pop. Um, no, it's not. It's not. I lied. It is. Ooh, ultra metallic. Iluv Sarahi color pop. Voila. Wow. Great. I need to retouch it. I gotta retouch my makeup, guys. I'm gonna need that break. Because yeah. I can't do it on stream. I need <laughs> breakfast. I need, I need my me time. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But yeah. Alright, so um Verm. Let's see. What do we do next? Are you guys playing tomorrow at all? Uh, no, uh, actually, at, at, at this time, tomorrow, at, at like in 15 minutes from now, but tomorrow night or morning for you guys, I'm running Simba Room on this channel with a bunch of people. Nice. So um, if you're floating around, come check it out. Simba Room is awesome. It's like a folklore, dark fantasy thing. Um, real sort of um, Brothers Grimm meets um, The Witcher meets Game of Thrones. So it's some cool stuff. Um, so come check it out. Lovely. Yeah. Nice. That's plugin. good news. So I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wave, and we're all gonna say goodbye because we really appreciate the uh, the hours that we spent together, and we're glad you guys tuned in. Stay tuned for more Mouse Cup. Good night.